What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Playing The Witcher 3, it took me a few days to actually uh, start playing this game. Unfortunately, I had a lot of work to do and I'm enjoying my three day weekend so I've been doing this and doing a little bit of Destiny. I want to give you guys my first impressions of the game. Now I'm only about four or five hours into the game but I think I played enough to give my thoughts on what I've seen so far. Whether or not I think this game is a valid purchase, whether, whether or not I think it's, uh, you know, state-of-the-art or above par compared to a lot of other games right now and I gotta say I'm honestly very very impressed with The Witcher 3 uh, it I already feel very different about this game than I did playing uh, Dragon Age Inquisition I probably put mm, three times as many hours into Dragon Age but this feels more real to me I don't I, it's hard to explain it everywhere you go it just feels like a real place it feels huge the game is gigantic I mean gigantic and you have this horse named Roach that you can whistle and call kind of like in uh, Shadow of the Colossus hop on him and go anywhere and there's really no set path that you go down in this game of course the game does have a main story mode but there's side missions everywhere and they're not like typical side missions the side missions of this game are like more fleshed out honestly than like most main missions in most RPGs it's like really very well thought out the characters are extremely believable and the voice acting is phenomenal it really is i i think it's probably some of the best voice acting i've heard in a video game in a very long time uh the graphics of the game i think it's a beautiful game uh, i love the the I, I i think it's like shadow effects and lighting effects you can see the sunlight beaming through trees and dynamic day and night cycle all that stuff is really phenomenal i think the game has burst bursting robust colors it's like it's a very beautiful color palette and they weren't afraid to use those oranges and reds and make this game really come to life a lot of games have more dead colors and this really feels alive with color and uh i think that the game controls kind of similar to games like bloodborne so if you guys played bloodborne and you ever had you know got used to that play mechanic is very similar you, you're able to jump around strafe back and forth you're able to parry moves and uh you know implement magic you can trap enemies on the ground it's just a lot of things that that are going on in this game like i said i haven't played a ton of it but uh what i have played so far i'm really really impressed with i did get the uh special edition of the game as well and so <laughs> i'm probably looking at 300 hours <laughs> of gameplay before i actually get a chance to get into that but one good thing I'll say about it, I'm most games I, I go to the, to the uh, side quest after I finish the main mission. That's what I did in Dying Light. Dying Light was another great game that I got this year that I, I think was a perfect purchase. It was a phenomenal game. After I got done with the main missions, I went back and I started playing the side quest because I wanted to experience the world. This game's side quest feels so good, it's almost like you want to play that as much as you do the main quest, and I think that's just great design you know the way they wrote this these aren't just simple fetch quests these are like quests that really affect you and affect the world and affect the game and uh, I think it's phenomenal I think it's really really an excellent game so far and like I said I'm only four or five hours into it I've, I've played uh, you know some some bigger enemies and learned some alchemy and uh, met some new characters and I'm seeing some plots and things start to uh, start to form in the story and I think it's a pretty good story so far you're looking for someone uh, a young lady named Siri and I'm not talking about on uh, Apple devices and it's a, it's a pretty fun game so far so that's my thoughts on it I'm happy I bought this game I got it day one it, it looks really phenomenal I know that uh, it doesn't look as good as what we saw at VGX but you gotta understand you know when when developers are showing us a vertical slice of a game that's their impression of what they think the game could be and that happens a lot and sometimes uh, they're able to get it in close proximity to that vertical slice and sometimes they're not and if you ask me this is a pretty good representation of what we saw at VGX when you take into account this is an open world experience this is an open world game and there's a lot of shit that, that goes into developing an open world game it's not like you know a linear experience you can go anywhere and pretty much do anything you want at any time and so uh, I think it's a great game my first impressions are I definitely recommend this if you guys are looking for an RPG that feels like it 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 just has a lot it has a huge uh, amount of replayability there's tons and tons of stuff to do in this game uh, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay if you did be sure to give a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel subscribe 
I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.